All right, it is a very sad day indeed. I have decided to sell my personal Ford F-150 hybrid. In this video, I'm gonna show you around the truck, the current condition of it, and um, explain to you why I'm selling it. Also, I'll, I wanna hint at what I'm buying next. It's not for sure yet, so uh, I'm not gonna completely tell you everything, but I wanna sell my Crew Cab 4-wheel drive FX4 hybrid truck, my F-150 on tflbids.com. So check the link in the bottom, in the description of this video, and check out tflbids.com. That's where you can sell your truck or car, and this is where you'll find my F-150. So uh, let's walk around here. Come over with me. So this truck I purchased about 20 months ago. And I ordered it way before that because I really wanted, uh, I wanted to be the first to have the hybrid. So let me pop the hood and show you around. And I knew I wanted a crew cab 4x4. I knew I wanted the hybrid because it's a brand new power plant. And as you may know, I review trucks for a living and I really wanted to be first to live with this power plant. And I'll tell you my entire experience in this video as well. So it is the three and a half liter twin turbo. And you can see some of the high voltage components here, those orange cables. And yeah, it's been really solid power plant as far as speed and efficiency. And I'll show you my towing data because this truck actually remembers my trailering trips. So I'll show you everything about it. So uh, over the years, you've seen me do zero to sixties in this truck. It was one of the quickest trucks we've ever actually tested at a mile above sea level. It was about 5.6 seconds, zero to 60 on stock tires in stock form. It's pretty ridiculous for a base XL work truck. Uh, and yeah, it, it's been always very quick and I've been getting about 21 to 22 MPG in my daily driving um, here around Colorado. So uh, I had, Full disclosure, I had one engine light last summer, check engine light, which was a misfire condition. And I believe it was just kind of bad fuel because it, after I filled up again, that check engine went away and that misfire condition never reappeared. And I'll show you the miles I have on this truck, which is just over 20,000 miles in about 20 months or 21 months of owning it. So this power plant, with its 10 speed automatic has been really solid for me. And I've done at least, what, maybe two I gauntlets uh, with this truck with various weights. And I've also, uh, of course, done two oil changes in my time with this truck. And I've did two oil analysis with this truck uh, using the oil labs Blackstone to actually check the condition of my truck. And I, I will put up that report for you to see right now. As promised, I'm in my office and I have the oil reports. I printed both, the original one and then the second oil change that actually has both uh, results on it. So let me show you a little bit closer. Um, just reading what Blackstone Labs has said, this is not a sponsorship. I paid Blackstone Labs to do my oil uh, reports, uh, actually for all our vehicles, including my truck. It says here at 1.8 TBN, doesn't show much active additive left over, but we still think 14,000 mile next oil change would be fine. So they're actually recommending really, really long oil change intervals. And why is that? Well, because in my second oil change, um, the metal content has improved. Um, you can see the silicone content of the oil is going down because the engine is breaking in and it's not doesn't have a lot of the factory um, kind of lubricants and other metals um, inside of it and flashpoint is okay fuel con uh, content of oil is still way way within limits so this engine is quite healthy so why am i selling this do i really hate this truck no i don't i actually quite like it but i want to move on um, i review trucks for a living and i want to get something something new and maybe a year down the line, sell that truck and get something new. So I kind of want to start moving uh, trucks, um, kind of rotating them, just like TFL does. I want to do that with my personal truck as well. Now let's go back to the ranch. 
All right, there you have it. Uh, yes, so both oil reports came back with flying colors, in my opinion. Um, even though the first one, oil change, was a little bit early in its kind of time frame and life cycle of this engine, and then the second oil change was a little bit uh, longer period. Still, both of the results were pretty solid. This engine is pretty healthy, and it drives great. Basically, drives as if it was brand new. Now, it is an FX4 package. What, what does it mean? It means it has, of course, rear locker and the stock tires I swapped. So this is the tire it's rolling on now. This is the way I'm selling it. This is a B of Goodrich all-terrain KO2 uh, all-terrain tire. And uh, it's almost a 34, basically, a 34-inch diameter on stock Steelys. I really love this look. And hopefully if you're buying this truck, uh, you love this look as well. And this is three peak snow rated tire. Check it out right here. Mud and snow, three peak rated. And the size is 285-75 R17. And these tires almost have like, what, four or 5,000 miles on them? Not very much. You could see the lugs front and back are really solid. Um, and I put some white letters on it, even though I went off-roading and kind of rubbed off some of that stuff. Let me show you in the back really quick. Of course, skid plates are included from stock with the FX4 package. And back here, five and a half foot bed, very standard. I, I added a damper for the tailgate so it doesn't slam down. This bed liner is completely uh, was factory, so bed liner is still here. This tunnel comes with the truck. And this is what I'll miss the most. So, if you can zoom in here, it has a 7.2 kilowatt generator inverter system on board. Uh, you've seen probably me, if you've been watching TFL truck over the last several months, um, we've charged electric cars with this. We've welded with this truck using the system. We have towed the car, electric car, while charging it. And every time it worked flawlessly. Oh, I actually powered my friend's house, Justin's house. Um, so, and you see this sign? Here at Tumbleweed Ranch, Onyx off-road sign. David and I used my truck to run his welder to actually weld up some of those chains around the sign in the middle of nowhere. So this is still the only truck other than the Lightning uh, currently on sale that offers that much power as far as 7.2 kilowatts of export power. So I'm gonna miss that probably the most because I can brag and can say, hey, we built that sign with my truck in the middle of nowhere. So whatever I get next, may or may not have a similar capability, so I'll really miss it. Now, jump in the passenger seat, I wanna show you inside. As I alluded to, this is an XL, which means a base truck. Comes with two keys, they're pretty simple. Um, this is the other thing I will dearly miss, and I, really like the six person configuration. Um, so there's a little storage cubby underneath. This is where some of my junk is currently stored. Um, and why is this important? I don't use this often, but because this area for legroom for the six person is very limited up here, but it saved me in a pinch. For example, 4th of July, uh, taking uh, six people in the cab to go see the fireworks, go to the baseball game. I've taken uh, six people to the lake to go um, launch the boat. So in those pinch moments where I can bring some extra people, my kids' friends, um, I think I'll miss that capability of bringing a six person on a shorter trip. Um, I think is really has been very nice. And that's why I'm sad that I'm selling it. Let me show you some of the other features inside. So let's jump in. Let me start the truck. By the way, WeatherTech floor mats are with this truck and will be sold this way. 
So jump in and close the door so we can, so it won't ding on us and keep beeping. Still a key, pretty simple. But when I ordered this truck, I was, I had to make sure that it was very precise because I wanted tech, as much tech as I could put in this and still be a basic affordable truck. Affordable, right? You guys give me a lot of grief by saying that word <laughs> because in my mind, you know, $50,000 for a solid new truck is affordable, but I know because I also test $100,000 trucks, but for a lot of you, 50K is outside your reach. And I know this. So I ordered an automatic climate control system. You can see here, I can go like this. Or I can also say this, hello, hello Ford, turn down the temperature to 69 degrees. Setting temperature to 69 degrees. So, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that I can actually um, do this with my basic truck, have some voice recognition, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, you can see all of this here. Um, and now let me show you my towing trips. So let me go under features. This is my Pro Power on board, by the way, as you have seen, my generator mode. Yes, I know I have to be outside to run this. Then towing. And here I've defined several trailers. And I love this system that Ford offers. So first there's a default trailer, because I've towed a few. I've gone about 367 miles with this trailer that I call default, which is kind of random trips here and there. And it keeps track of my fuel efficiency while towing and also mileage. Then I have my boat and I've towed my boat over the life of this truck 1,283, 1,283 miles at 12 MPG. And then there's a couple of others. Our steel trailer, empty, is this. So I haven't towed a heck of a lot. Loaded trailer is this. So I can show you everything. It's kind of, uh, that's why I love this. David's caboose trailer. I've towed it a little bit as well. That was his camp, customized camping trailer. So overall about 2,000 miles, maybe what, under 3,000 miles of towing for 20,000 miles of total driving in this truck. So this hasn't been a total towing monster, but as you can tell, it did some towing and all of it was good. There was a slight overheating issue on one of the eye gauntlet runs, but the truck protected itself. Never, um, there was no, you know, cool and boiling. It, it told us it was getting a little bit hot and we paused and let it cool down. So that was my only, you know, kind of sort of negative towing experience in the mountains of Colorado. 10 speed automatic, shift. It's got all the modes in the world. It's got four low. No 4 Auto, because it's a very basic truck. I told you about the rear locker. Rear locker is here. 4 Low is down here. My modes, including rock crawl mode, because it's an FX4. So let me show you this. Rock crawl mode, every mode, and I can select the locker off and on, even in two-wheel drive. I love that uh, Ford lets you um, kind of configure your truck in this way. Otherwise, it's pretty simple, you know, cloth seats, uh, pretty basic steering wheel. I haven't changed anything like this. I added a dash cam, but I've, I think I'll probably be taking it with me. So um, unless you, you let me know that the dash cam is very important to you, then I can leave it, but it's not really hardwired. The wire is just over here, be hidden behind my visor. So I can take that with me so you don't have to worry about it. And see, it's pretty much in kind of new condition as far as this is concerned. Um, but the two things I'll miss most, actually three, really, really fast acceleration that this truck offers. Uh, I'll miss the inverter system. I'll miss the six seat. And since I've added new tires and a leveling kit up front, it has a ton of ground clearance. And I love that. It has a lot of capability. By the way, did you notice I started the truck up, but the engine never kicked on. 
we were sitting here with AC running um, and all the systems running and see it says it was running about four minutes under all electric power even though zero miles were driven. So that's kind of one of the benefits of the hybrid system. You have the battery, which lives kind of below the bed where the fuel tank is. Um, that allows you some limited driving in electric mode. It, you can coast in electric mode. You can still do that with bigger tires. And you have capability to just sit somewhere quietly while the truck is running. Let me show you the back seat really quick and then we can wrap up. So here's my bag, here's my jacket. So here I installed a couple of things, pardon my mess. Uh, all of this will be gone, uh, but I added this box. So this box wasn't here before. Um, and then the WeatherTech floor mats, full length, full size. There are cup holders down here, USB-C, USB-A, 12 volt power. Um, and lots of space. I'm just over 6'2", almost 6'3", and I'm a king back here. So that's what new crew cabs, of course, offer, gigantic space. So, uh, payload, actually walk around, I'll show you the payload and towing. So towing, this one is rated, it has a 373 rear axle ratio. It's over 10,000 pounds of maximum towing. This does not have that insanely crazy rear axle. Um, 1,708 pounds of payload, 1,700 pounds. It does not have a, a three-quarter fully floating rear axle that the maximum towing package on an F-150 does have. And I know some of you are having trouble with your rear bolts snapping on that axle. This truck does not have that. I also added a wheel liner. So you can kind of see here, the wheel liner kind of to dress up the rear area so it's nice and closed. There's two scratches on this truck. Let me show you. You may have seen this, this was on camera. There's a little bit of a scratch here on the passenger side. Uh, where I was uh, off-roading in the snow with Tommy. And there's one more nick on this mirror. So, if you can see here, there's a broken part of the glass, although the light still works. Um, unfortunately, my wife kind of hit something in the neighborhood. She wouldn't tell me what she hit, but <laughs> it's a little, a little scratch here on the, on the side glass of the, of the mirror. Everything else, oh, it has brand new F-150 LED bulbs. So if you can look inside here, let me turn them on for you really quick. Hold on one sec. I don't know if you could see that. It's kind of a more white light, very, very bright because stock lights were really bad on the XL. So I did replace those. So at night, visibility is much improved, a lot brighter lights, and I also turn them down. There is a little screw back here inside where you can angle your headlights up and down manually. It's not automatic, which I like. And so you don't blind people in front of you. So I did that, and I haven't been flashed by anybody oncoming traffic. So I think it's done really well. And little shorty antenna that I replaced the long antenna with. The long antenna comes with the truck. So everything is included. It's got 34s, 11 link kit up front, a really strong, I think, power plant that's still been very reliable for me over the last almost two years. So once again, click on the link below. TFLbits.com is where you'll find this truck and other, and other vehicles that you can sell yourself or bid on other vehicles that you want to buy. So the pricing, well, uh, as I said in other videos, I bought this truck for about 51k. That was the original price on this truck. And so what it will, it will sell for, you decide. So you bid on it, you decide, and hopefully we can agree, you and I. 
All right, as always, thank you very much for joining me. TFLtruck.com or oldtfl.com is where you'll find everything automotive in one place. Thank you. Oh yeah, there is more. I promised to hint of, at what I'm buying next. So I said I'm gonna miss six person seating. So the truck I'm looking to get will not have six person seating. That's why I'm sad. It also will not have 7.2 kilowatt system. That's why I'm sad. Um, might be smaller than this as far as size is concerned but um, it's not the final deal so I, I cannot announce it right now I will announce it as soon as I know uh, that it's actually for sure uh, so stay tuned you will know soon hopefully within the month about my next personal truck just for me all right thanks